Hi, I'm Kevin Price with The Price of Business, reporting again from Green Force 2011 in San Francisco, California, and delighted to have here the, uh, the founders of AppBuddy.com, and then that includes Leia Podcaminer, there we go, and Mark Aubin. And from now on, you're both Leia and Mark. So no that, problem. I got over that, that hurdle. Real quickly, kind of give us the elevator speech about your company. So basically what we do is we uh, enhance the user experience of Salesforce through giving an alternative user interface. So people can basically have an Excel-like experience in Salesforce to manage multiple objects on one screen uh, right with inside Salesforce. Okay, very good. Now, my understanding is you both worked at Salesforce.com at one point? Is that I correct? did. You Just did. Mark. Yeah. Just you. Now, that's an interesting phenomenon. I've, I've come across a lot of companies here that have recently been birthed by former employees at Salesforce.com. What's Definitely. your, what's your uh, knowledge, if you will, about that? I mean, the, the main take on, on that is that really this is such an interlinked community, right? And we've all been working in this space for quite some time. and. Actually, it ends up being where it's a synergistic relationship because now I'm a partner and I'm enhancing user experience at Salesforce.com as well. So, and I've seen a lot of other partners come and say that they can add value by either starting up their own business or working for another partner with Salesforce. Right. So, actually, I mean, we're on we're on really great terms with Salesforce, and it really just enhances the fact that since I actually know uh, that space so well, um, I can provide these great solutions for them. Okay. What is your actual sales process? Leah? How, do you, how do you find clients? How do you cultivate those relationships? That's a great question. Um, our main way of finding people right now is by posting our application on the App Exchange. Um, people usually search for applications for Salesforce on the App Exchange um, what, using keywords or you know different uh, factors, whether it's a free uh, application they want or a paid application. Um, and a list of applications usually comes up, uh, hopefully, uh, for their results. And then they'll scan the application and go ahead and try it. A lot of applications have free trials. Um, we have a 14-day free trial. And users will typically figure out if they want the app or not at that point, And then they can buy it. So you take more of an attraction approach rather than a promotional approach, I guess. We do have somewhat of a promotional approach. Of course, we have our presence here at Dreamforce, sure. too. And uh, really, word of mouth is something that's really working out well for us. I mean, the social community here is just incredibly, incredibly active. And when you make a customer happy, they definitely talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. What was your experience before you joined, uh, joined this company, and before you helped form this company? Sure. Uh, one of my first experiences was actually a data management company uh, called One Team, and we built an application called MyWebDB. And we uh, actually both Mark and I worked on this data management application for several years. Um, it didn't work out, but that's okay. Uh, after you that, learn stuff, right? You definitely, do. definitely <laughs> learn stuff. That's the best MBA you can get is in failures. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> definitely so. Um, since then, uh, you know, I've been developing all kinds of data management and web-based applications focusing on user experience. Um, and I've you know, been able to fold all of that into our application now with GridBuddy, um, providing a really great user experience for people on Salesforce. Okay, what's the biggest challenge that you have from a sales and marketing perspective, your biggest concern as you go forward? Well, the main thing is that really, um, the Salesforce universe is so big, right? So there's, um, there's large customer instances, there's small customer instances, and really what we're doing is we're trying to partner with the consulting companies and also with the Salesforce AEs themselves because they're really the closest to the customer to, to really build solutions for them because we really got to be integrated as part of the solution. Our biggest challenge has always been, it's been in our last company and it's been in this company, is that we're a horizontal solution. And trying to sell that as a specific solution that somebody needs to solve a specific business problem has always been something that we've been challenged with. But we're, we're getting there. And that's a phraseology I hear a lot. Explain exactly what you mean by horizontal. So horizontal solution is basically, it can be applied to any industry, it can be applied to any business process. It's, uh, it's really agnostic, it's really generic. Mm -hmm. Whereas it's not something very specific like a project management application or a uh, human resources application or a healthcare application. We don't solve those very specific needs, but all those needs could be all those user experiences could be enhanced by our solution. That's why it goes horizontal across that market. And I guess you're also would say you're, you're agnostic as far as industries as well. Definitely. Yeah. All right. The company again is called App Bu App Buddy. App Buddy. Right. And the website AppBuddy.com. It's uh, SFAppBuddy.com or SalesforceAppBuddy.com. Both both work. Do it again. 
salesforceappbuddy.com. All right, that's the company, and I'm Kevin Price with The Price of Business. Again, reporting live from Greenforce 2011.